This is number six from the 2013 Calc BC exam, and it's a series question. Um, and it's kind of interesting. It's a little different from anyone they've given in the past. Uh, we're told f of zero is negative four. We're told that p1, well, we're told that p1 is the first degree Taylor polynomial for f about x equals zero. And we're told that p1 of one half is negative three. We're asked to show that f prime of zero is two. This entire question is pretty much about knowing um, Taylor's formula. So p1 of x is going to be f of 0 plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial times the quantity x minus 0 to the first. All right, and now I'm going to substitute in things that I know. I know that uh, p of x is therefore negative 4 plus f prime of 0 times x. All right, I'm told that p1 of 1 half is negative 3, so that means that uh, negative 4 plus 1 half f prime of 0 equals negative 3 by substituting in. I know that x is 1 half. I know that uh, it's going to equal negative 3. And now I can just solve this kind of algebra 1 style to get uh, f prime of 0 equals 2, which is what we were required to show. So we're done with that part. Uh, the next part is going to give us a couple of more things. So we know from the previous part that f of 0 is negative 4. We know that f prime of 0 is 2. We're told that f double prime is negative 2 thirds and that f triple prime is 1 third. And we're asked to find uh, p3 of x, which is the third degree Taylor polynomial. So we write it out. That's f of 0 plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial x minus 0 to the first plus f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial, and then x minus 0 squared, plus f triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial, and then x minus 0 cubed. And now we just have to substitute in the things we know. And I rarely even simplify these. I just do direct substitution. So f of 0 is negative 4. Um, f prime is 2. I'm going to substitute that a little. Uh, simplify that a little, rather. f double prime is negative 2 thirds. That's over 2 factorial, and then x squared. And then f triple prime is 1 third. That's over 3 factorial, and then x cubed. That's my whole answer. All right, and uh, we have one more part where we are to find a new function. So h of x is f of, or h prime of x, rather, is f of 2x. And I know that h of 0 is 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that table that I usually make, which has n, it has the nth derivative, and then the nth derivative evaluated at the center. So I have no idea what h of x actually is, uh, so I'm not going to be able to fill that in for 0, but I do know that um, h of 0 is 7, so I fill that in, put a row, and then I'm going to find, well rather I'm given that h prime, so when n is 1, I get that h prime of x is f of 2x, so to evaluate that at 0, that's just f of 0, which I know is negative 4, now I'm going to take the derivative to get 2 f prime of 2x. Now I have to evaluate that at 0, so that's 2 times f prime of 0, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. And then take the derivative of 2 f prime of 2x to get the third derivative, and that's going to be 4 f double prime of 2x. f double prime, I was told um, in the previous part, is negative 2 thirds, so that's 4 times negative two-thirds, which is negative eight-thirds. And now I'm going to uh, use the formula again. So I know that the third degree polynomial for um, h of x is h of zero plus h prime of zero over one factorial x minus zero to the first plus h double prime over two factorial and x minus zero squared and h triple prime of zero over three factorial and x minus zero cubed. Uh, so if you didn't know Taylor's formula going into this problem, you probably couldn't do any of this problem. Uh, but if you do know it, and uh, you know how to make the table and work with it, you were pretty pretty well off. So now we're just substituting in. So approximately h of 0, I'm told, was 7, plus h prime I found was negative 4. And h double prime I found was uh, positive 4 over 2 factorial. And then x squared and h triple prime I found was negative 8 over 3. And that's over 3 factorial and x cubed. 
And that's my answer, and I would not simplify that, because there's nothing indicating that I need to. Alright, so that's the entire problem, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.